and be like, can you get away from my house? And I tell them, oh, it's our God. I'm talking to my God. And they, they look at me crazy, but then I tell them what happened. Then they be like, oh, but then they be like, can you still move away? I tell them no, because I'm, I'm chilling here. This ain't, your, this ain't your spot. This ain't your block. You live on this block, but you have been on this block longer than we did. This is our block. I have four children. Each of them got different fathers. I was basically father to both, to both of my kids, with my son, as far as race and putting the I learned him compassion. Um, we have family all around here. My God, James died in this pink and white house. And I see one thing about here, these people over here, don't know nothing about no family values. I like this neighborhood now, because you know, it's quiet. And you don't got to really worry about nothing. All right, right here, my guy Palaco got killed. Um, he was down the street on Booth, on Booth the Monarchy. He was sitting in his car, you know, and then people ran up, and then they was trying to get him for his money because, you know, he was doing things that he, illegal, you know, illegal stuff. And people wanted what he had. So he hopped in his car and he busted the U-turn and ran down here. And when he ran down here, they hopped in their car and ran up. And, um, he, and he hit that tree and then he, they shot him in his head when they, when they walked up to his car. And then my brother, my brother-in-law, James, he just turned 18 and they was drinking in the basement. And then they was arguing. And then the dude said, I'm gonna pop you. And then he was like, no, you're not. And then he shot him in his head and then tried to drag his body and hide it in a um, car. And James, like, James to me, is like my big brother, man. I think I think about him every day, like man. And it seemed like yesterday I was just talking to him. Everybody got pit. Everybody got guns. Everybody got. You can guns. get a gun from anywhere. You can get your gun from anywhere. Like if, you could just walk around and somebody be like, "I got a pistol for seventy-five. I got a pistol for a bill fifty. You could just buy that pistol. But still, but you ain't gonna have papers, but. Still, but you <laughs> say you can have a concealed weapon. But just to, to kill this, that, that ain't gonna. But that still, it ain't really doing nothing because everybody's still walking around with weapons anyway. But then, even though they gonna but pass still, that, look, say, 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 you, me and you got a pistol, right? It say it's like two, three, ten dudes on the corner of the block, so you walk past them. They got all got guns, and we get we say say one of them look as funny. And, and we don't think they got pistols, but we well, we know we got pistols. And you might say something back to him like, hang it out of my face or something. And he's like, what? Damn, wow, wow. That's another death. I grew up like me. I don't got no father. Father, I don't got no type of father. I don't got, I'm really learning my manhood from the street. You don't really have to do all this. Just to, you know, to just, grow up. Just to grow up. But at the same time, you really do got to do all this. Because you got to wash your back in the street from everybody else trying to catch you. Because really, you don't got to be in no gang Cause, to, to cause, show that you a man. You can you can be you can be a regular kid. You don't got to be in no gang. You don't got to be in nothing. You can just be a regular kid. But then you don't have to know that you got to watch your back. You got to watch what you're doing. Because when you do something wrong, it's going to come to you. And they gonna... that's, that's, a, that's like the same way for me. That's where I'm learning I know everything my day, from. My dad was never in my life. That's why I think I'm like this now. There was no fucking figure. Every fucking figure I had left. Left me cold. He needs a lot of growing up to do. There's nobody there to teach him. There's nobody there to put their foot down. Everybody's gone. Why would a... Okay, when the time you get 13 to 14, you think you're grown anyway, okay? Why would a 13, 14 listen to somebody who's 17 or 18? And if, a, if, and if a 25, 20 year old inside their right mind is doing what they're supposed to do, they gonna hang out with no 14 or 15 year old boy trying to teach them nothing. They don't, only thing they would do with a young person like that is use them to do things for them so they won't get caught up in it. That, that's, that's the point. Like every person, every man in my, whoever, you know what I'm saying, whoever, like did stuff for me, took me places and showed me, talked to me. Make sure I did right, always left, at a certain age or a certain time. So that's why I think I'm kind of messed up now. I do this, what to do, why I do the stuff I do. 
Clean up the down the streets. And that's why I think the game, like really the game is like why every children want to go in the game. Because you know, because everybody don't got no father figure and they want to be in the game so they learn how to be a man. And the only way you can learn how to be a man is if, 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 you, if you got a father there. I think a broken home is a home when there's nobody there. Just a total empty home. With nobody there, they don't have no kind of backup, they have no kind of supervision, they have nothing. That's my home broken, you know.